Getting this error in Forge UI as an NVIDIA 50 series owner is annoying. I will teach you in this video how you can use Forge again. The first thing you need is Python 3.10. Check if you have it by opening a command window by clicking in the search bar and type cmd and press enter or click on it. Here type pi space minus zero p. If you have two versions installed like me, keep this window open for a trick you will need later. If this command yields an error, you need to download and install it. So head to this URL and download Python 3.10.11. Don't download 3.10.6 because you want the latest security updates. So scroll down and grab the version you need. In my case, Windows installer 64-bit. During installation, make sure that this box here is checked because otherwise Windows won't be able to find it. The next thing you need is git. Check if you have it installed by typing git space minus minus version. If you have it, great. If not, then head to this URL and grab the version you need. In my case, I take the Windows build for 64-bit. Now it's time to download Forge. So go to the folder where you want Forge to live in and I click up here and move to the left, type CMD and I hit enter. This will open a new command window. Also, we head over to the official GitHub repository and we click here on code and we click here to copy URL to clipboard and we move back, type git clone and we do a space, control V and here we just press enter. Once downloaded, enter the folder. You want to start Forge every time using the web UI user batch file, not the web UI batch file. But don't click yet. If you have already clicked by accident, then close the command window and delete the VN folder that Forge created. We need to make sure Forge is using the right Python version. So um, click here on web UI user batch file and open it in your favorite text editor. I'm using Notepad++. And now bring forth your command window that I told you to keep open. So you need to copy the exact path here so otherwise Forge will use the latest installation which is a 3.13 in my case. So and here under Python I say double quote paste double quote. So make sure you don't have any spaces between the equal and the double quote otherwise you will have problems finding it or Forge UI will have problems and it will default to the latest version. So save your file and then you can actually execute the web UI user batch file. This will install, it can take quite some time now and it will yield a lot of errors, but let it run through anyways. If it looks like this, then you did not do anything wrong. Just close your command window and we do the same thing again. Now it should start up. And um, you can see here now it, it created this VN folder and it did it with the correct Python version. Great. That means we are done, right? Um, not quite. So as you can see in the console here, so far it didn't change a thing. We still get this error. But now comes the important part. So we close the command window again and we also close the browser window. Now it's time to activate our virtual environment. So once again we open up a command window here and inside of this window you type this venv backslash scripts backslash activate. And then we are using this command here. Uh, you can find it on my Patreon, by the way, for free, of course. So basically what it says is execute Python and install the latest um, CUDA 12.8 wheel. 
so that our graphics card can work with. So we press enter and again this can take a while. You see it says using cached version. Um, I pre-recorded and tested the video earlier so that's why it's not downloading for you. There are probably some so there's some downloading going on uh, about four gigabytes of models I think and yeah as soon as it's done you can use Forge UI. Installation ran through without any errors. You could close your command window or you could say deactivate. So that's the cleaner way basically. But just closing it is fine. And now it's time to start our web UI again. And yeah, let's see. The error message should be gone by now. Um, yeah, it looks good. We are already over this part. We get a warning, but you can ignore this warning. Before I forget, I have a new guide on my Patreon where I show you on 60 plus pages how to get the most out of the new GPT-4 image model. Grab it now, it's free. Let's test it real quick. So what we need now is a model. So I go here under model, stable diffusion and I paste my Cyberrealistic 5. Okay, back in Forge, let's press the refresh button here. And now we see our model and here I type Chicken McNugget driving a motorboat. Okay, steps 25 and for resolution 1024 by 1024. Let's make four images and yeah, let's run it. So we don't get an error instead. It looks like it's loading the model here. And yeah, of course it will take some time. Hey, has loaded the model and here it starts creating our images. Yeah, the images are coming in. I'm not sure it's a chicken McNugget, but yeah, you get the idea. Forge UI runs again. So friends, if this video helped you out, then please help me out and like the video, subscribe to my channel and share the video with other people in need. I also made the same video for Invoke AI. And yeah, if you either need an amazing workflow for Invoke or Watch UI, then don't waste your potential and watch this video next.